So the brand new card for Branded has finally been revealed. How's it going everybody? Otaku here back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. So today we're going to be talking about the newly revealed information about the White Story Collection, aka the Branded or the Fallen of Albaz Story Collection that has been released or is about to be released in the OCG. And this is obviously something that will eventually make its way to the TCG or at least, you know, I hope. And they finally just revealed some new information on the set. So we knew that there was going to be a brand new card in the set that has never been revealed or released for the archetype or the lore. And they finally revealed what that new card is. So the new card is called Alba System Dogmatica or Dogmatica Lamini, I think is what the OCG translation is. Um, but basically it's, you know, a dragon fusion effect, dark level eight, but it's 4,500 attacks. So this is a beefy motherfucker. And its requirements are Fallen of Alabas plus six monsters in your graveyard with different names. Now, that's not the hardest thing to do in the branded deck, um, but this obviously means that you can only summon this via Branded and White, Albion, or Lubellion because you can't just go Branded Fusion for this. Uh, so you have to use a monster or a card that would require summoning from the graveyard or using materials from the graveyard to summon a monster. So there is some restrictions, but the effects here are stating that this card must first be fusion summoned, so you can't cheese it out with other card effects unless they say ignoring summoning conditions. But uh, the card can attack all opponent's monsters once each. And when the card does declare an attack, you must send one card from your extra deck to the graveyard. So that's quite expensive of a card to use. But then the third effect is once per turn, if you control this fusion summon monster and have six or more fusion monsters in your graveyard with different names that mention Fallen of Albaz's material, you can send all cards in both players extra decks to the graveyard. That's pretty powerful. However, not only does this require you to run six other monsters in your extra deck that mention Albaz as fusion material, which isn't the hardest thing to do, but also this card sends stuff from your extra deck to the graveyard as well, meaning that if you're not ending the duel that turn, you're in a lot of trouble. Personally, I don't think this card is all that good. I think the effect is intriguing and the fact that it can kind of just beat the fuck out of your opponent and you really don't have to use that third effect. You can just summon this raw and, you know, attack a bajillion times because it's a 4,500 beat stick that can attack each monster once. Um, it's it's powerful. It's intriguing. It's a card that when I get my hands on it, eventually I will, of course, toy with it to see if it is viable to use but you know the branded archetype already has a very tight extra deck as it is so fitting one other guy in there might be a little bit more difficult but again it's intriguing the card is of course only coming in qcr because uh as we're going to mention here in a minute uh there are guaranteed rarities in this collection for those who don't already know it's coming out to about twenty nine thousand seven hundred yen which is about like 180 dollars us dollars approximately uh not one-to-one -one accurate uh translation or conversion so don't you know don't take my word for that but overall it's gonna be like a 200 us dollar thing when it comes here to the us if it comes here in the us it comes with a binder and a special booklet which i believe is like art or like just the full story of the branded line um it has 202 cards it has every card in the branded dogmatica tri brigade storyline uh, and literally one of every card, I believe. And out of all those cards, uh, 177 of them are guaranteed ultra rares. 20 of them are guaranteed secret rares. Again, they're all reprints. Uh, four are guaranteed secret rares that are reprints of alt arts, which is going to be really cool. I imagine Albaz will be one of those alt arts. And then the other one is the guaranteed quarter century rare of Dogmatic Calamity Alba system or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's going to be a guaranteed QCR. So currently we don't know what the other four guaranteed QCRs are that are going to be alt arts. Again, it's safe to assume that Albaz will be one of them and probably Ecclesia would be the other one, possibly Shurig, just kind of like the pivotal characters in the story. So a Luber might be one. There's of course many ways we can, uh, you know, theorize here, but I think it's safe to say Albaz is one of the guaranteed ones for sure. Like we can just lock that one in that it's going to be Albaz. Um, but as for there, I, I, from there, you know, it's just who are the other key playing characters in the story that will be getting their alt arts. And that's to assume that all four are going to be monsters. It could be spells or traps. So, you know, we will just have to wait and see. And then, you know, as we can see here, uh, the booklet is essentially just art, um, just things that the 
artists and stuff of the uh, lore kind of came up with and drew. Uh, as you can see right here, this is kind of like the from the little anime thing that they showed uh, a little while back. Hopefully we get an Albaz anime. That'd be fucking sick as hell. Um, but overall, it's just... It's a cool little art book, and if you know if you're a gamer, uh, then you probably already have a thousand art books of a thousand different games anyway. So why not get one of your favorite archetype? And then the binder is actually really cool. The binder, I th believe, is a three ring binder, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I prefer the binders that we get at like Target, uh, where they have you know the Yu-Gi-Oh art on them. I think those are a lot cleaner and just night better to use. I don't like three ring binders personally. Um, sorry, this is going to be a four ring binder. Let me check my privilege on that. But overall, um, I mean, they have like a little art on the pages as well, which I think is really cool. And uh, the binder has just the really cool art of like the Dogmatica or the Abyss or whatever they call it in the lore. Um, overall, if this comes to the TCG, I'm going to do everything in my power to get my hands on at least one of them. This thing is this set is or like this collection is just really cool um, for those who are not frequent to the channel i am a massive fan of branded i play branded in the tcg uh, i've been playing it since its initial release i think it's just a really cool archetype really fun and really high skill ceiling as well um just overall my all-time favorite archetype and i would love to get my hands on this collection also because the alt arts are exclusive to this and the new guy is exclusive to this so obviously i want to get my hands on those as well but that's really all i have for you guys today it's a bit of a short video because i wanted to talk about this since i do play branded on the regular and do talk about branded quite often here on the channel but i am curious what your thoughts are so don't forget to leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on this collection if you'll be getting it what you think of the new guy that just got revealed and whatever else you know the comment down below i'm curious on your all thoughts but other than that don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you all in next week's video see ya